Today, we're gonna be talking about what you need to build your very own custom drone. So you were flying your drone through the air and then you weren't because you crashed. Let's talk about the tools you need to get your drone back in the air. Soldering iron and solder. A soldering iron is the most important tool in your arsenal when it comes to repairing and eventually building your own drone. Solder is used to make the electrical connections in your drone. When purchasing solder, make sure the solder's rosin core. This will make it a lot easier to work with. Hex nut drivers. Hex nut drivers are used to tighten propellers down as well as smaller hex nuts within the drone. The most common sizes used are M3 and M5. Hex drivers. Now drones use a lot of metric hex screws, so you're gonna need a hex driver set. The most common sizes used when building a drone are 1.5 millimeter all the way up to three millimeters. A multimeter. A multimeter is used to measure multiple electrical properties, such as voltage, resistance, as well as current. Multimeters are extremely useful when troubleshooting electrical problems within your drone. Tweezers. Now, drones have many small parts and tweezers will help you handle them. Tweezers are especially useful when soldering and they'll help to avoid heat emitted by the soldering iron. Helping hands. Helping hands are used to hold components while you hold the soldering iron in one hand and solder itself in the other. And finally, electrical tape. Electrical tape is used for insulation and helps protect any exposed components. 